Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. When you think of a dress watch, typically in our day and age, you think of a watch that has smaller dimensions for those dressier occasions. But not everyone's wrist size is the same and not everyone's preferences are the same either. Some people prefer a larger watch even for dressier occasions. And if that someone is you, you've clicked on the right video because we have a beautiful dress watch that is on the larger side from the Swiss brand Tissot. This is a gorgeous piece. It's 43 millimeters in diameter, very well finished, and has a beautiful hand wind only movement that you're going to want to see up close. So stay tuned for this review. Please give it a like right at the outset and we'll jump into the review of this beautiful large dress watch from Tissot. All right, guys, well, here it is the Tissot T complication. And I mentioned that movement. Get a quick peek at it right now. There it is. That's just a quick peek. We'll look at it a little bit more here in a second. But we're going to jump right in and do some specs and features on this large dress watch from Tissot. You can see the model number there. I'm not going to go through it, but you can read it and check it out if you'd like. The movement here is an ETA 6498 2. Case material, stainless steel, case diameter as I measured it, 43.1 millimeters. Case thickness is 11.1. Lug to lug distance is 52.9. And the lug width is 22 millimeters. The band material is an embossed cow leather with that alligator look. Water resistance is only 50 meters. The weight is 96 grams and the price, MSRP price, is about $1,800 if you were to buy this at that price. Now, I encourage you not to do that and I did not do that. I found a good deal on this watch, I believe I bought it on eBay. And so I would encourage you to look around if you're interested in this piece and do not pay that almost $2,000 price tag. So what about the movement, the ETA 6498-2? They've done a really great job decorating it here, decorating those bridges and uh, some nice decoration work, blued screws, and just always enjoy looking at a beautiful movement like this. But uh, this movement is a 17 joule movement. It beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour or three hertz. The power reserve here is about 53 hours or so. And of course, as many of you know, this is a non-hacking movement. This is a chronometer. And I think that's part of the reason for the high MSRP price of a watch like this because it is COSC certified. Um, but someone mentioned in my unboxing video about this watch is, uh, because there's no hacking, how can you really set it precisely to really take advantage of that COSC certification? And I think that's a good question. I'm sure there are some different ways you can uh, do your best in setting the watch, even though the second hand continues to tick away. Um, but that is a good point to think about for sure. My initial thoughts about this piece after having it for a number of weeks now, probably at least a month or so, and I have been wearing this just around the house and such. Um, I, I like this watch. It, it looks good. Uh, I think it's finished really nicely and it feels like a solid piece and you know you wouldn't expect anything less than that for a, a watch that's almost $2,000 retail. Um, I found it comfortable in the time that I did wear it around my house and uh, of course though it is too big for me and my small six and a half inch wrist so uh, but for what it is you know I found it comfortable even on my smaller wrists overall I like the design of this piece um, but as we go through this review today I will share a few negatives and some things that uh, I think could make this watch look better for sure the case here uh, the case really has uh, an angular feel to it as you can see different lines going on especially on 
the lugs as they connect into the case and even the lugs themselves as they uh, jut downward here. Um, so definitely an angular look and something I, I didn't notice even in the unboxing is that there's a portion here that is different than the other side and they, they make it look as though it's the same as you can see but it's a, a you know jutting out a little bit further than the other side over here so just something to note that I kind of missed in the initial unboxing um, but they did a good job uh, kind of blending that little jut, jut out portion of the case to make it almost look the same um, as the other side so it's very subtle but kind of cool um, you know the angular case kind of to me has more of an industrial feel it doesn't give me a really dressy vibe having all these different angles so I would have liked to seen more you know fluid uh, lugs and not as many angular lines going on I think that would have worked better with a dressier style watch but the finishing here is really really good you get some vertical brushing going on on the side of the case and the tops of the lugs have a really nice mirror polish to them hope that's coming through and same thing brushed on the other side of the case and the crown has some polishing as well and the bezel also but uh, yeah just finished finished really really nicely the case back is huge it's large it's less just like you know it's pretty much as large as you can get it's, you got a full picture of the movement here and as far as i can tell the the case back i don't know it, it seems like it's just pressed in i don't see any screws and i don't see how you could unscrew this case if it were screw in so i'm assuming that it's pressed in um, but maybe someone down in the comments can let me know and if it is pressed in then that would help explain the, just the 50 meters of water resistance that is going on here but you don't expect much with a dress style watch in that category uh, the movement you know just taking another look at this just really in a gorgeous aspect of this watch and I think Tissot did a really wonderful job decorating this movement right here beautiful uh, the crown here is a push-pull crown I measured it in to be 6.9 millimeters uh, it works pretty well Let's see if I can do it with the gloves here popping out and you get some knurling diangular uh, knurling that is there it is signed with the T and it's easy to use and easy to grip as you're setting the time and uh, there's no date or anything as you can see uh, and the crown you know works as it should so the bezel here not much of a bezel going on uh, this is really an all dial watch and the bezel that is here is very small uh, but you can notice that it is polished uh, on the sides here and as well as on the top of that bezel speaking of the dial the dial is in charge on this watch and because it's all dial this watch really does feel like a real 43 millimeter watch it feels substantial because the whole thing is the face of the watch and uh, and when it's on your wrist it definitely feels all of that 43 millimeters uh, the dial here is an all matte black dial and there is some texturing going on in that inner circle it's really hard to pick up uh, on camera but this inner circle has some texturing going on in the center and even in person it's hard to really notice and and see the details of that texturing but it is there um, the the applied indices uh, and the 12 o'clock at the top are really pretty plain um, they're polished but there's no facets to them at all they're pretty flat they're not raised very much and honestly I would have liked to seen Tissot step it up a little bit with these indices give us something with some facets to them possibly maybe raised up a little bit more I think that would have uh, made this watch even more beautiful than it is in its current state 
the Dauphine hands here are large and polished, uh, and they really make this watch legible in normal lighting. There's no loom here, so uh, you're not going to be able to read this watch in the dark, but in normal lighting, those large hands make it easy to read the time. I, I do say, I do have to say that I wish, uh, especially the minute hand, was a little bit longer. You can see uh, there's quite a distance between these tick marks on the outside of the dial, so I would like to have seen that at least go out uh, to those uh, the chapter ring that is there. So just another little minor gripe. Um, what else? Of course, we have to talk about the sub second dial that is going on here. It's something that I love in a lot of different watches is seeing a sub second dial. And this one looks really good with the watch. You know, if that wasn't there, uh, there'd be a lot of open space on this huge dial, but I think that helps bring it all together and it's cool to have the sub seconds ticking away down there at the six o'clock position. There is some text on the dial, as you can see, in white, Tissot, 1853, chronometer, and then down at the bottom, Swiss made, but overall, really a plain and simple and, and no nonsense type dial, but I think it looks good, and you can definitely tell that it is a dressy piece, but again, it's quite large. I want to show you, just compare another watch. This uh, Alpina is an all dial watch as well. Uh, it's about 42 millimeters and you can see the size difference here. Quite a big difference when really there's only one millimeter case size difference on these two watches. Uh, here's another watch from Undone. This is a 37 millimeter watch but you know it has a unique case shape to it so well you can see this Tissot is not playing around it's a big dress watch for sure so keep that in mind if you're interested in something like this the strap here is a genuine leather strap it's embossed with that alligator texture it's it's fine for what it is nothing really special about it I didn't find it super supple or anything over the top uh, like it's the best leather strap I've ever seen nothing like that but you know pretty standard normal job all the stitching looks fine uh, and there is padding toward the the top of the case here so that's always a good thing to have some padding um, and it tapers down from the 22 millimeter down to about 19.7 millimeters as I measured it they do include this butterfly deployant clasp here which is nice to have and has uh, brushing all along the surfaces of the clasp and you know does its job and looks good it is signed as well right there with the T logo so this is a big boy big dress watch but perhaps someone's looking for something like this so I'm gonna get back in front of the camera and share some final thoughts about this Tissot for someone looking for a larger than normal dress watch, this option from Tissot might be a good place to look. It's too big for me with my twig wrists, my 6.5 inch wrists. If you saw the wrist shot, you, you noticed that the lugs did hang over a little bit. I'm not comfortable with that, so I'm not going to be keeping this watch or wearing it because of that. Um, but maybe that's something that you're looking for. You want something a little bit bigger. I really do like the looks of this piece. I think it's beautiful. Now there are some things that I mentioned I would change with the dial and with the case shape, but some of those things are personal preference. Um, but overall, I really think this is a well-built watch. Uh, it's beautiful. Of course, the beautiful movement in the back to look at as well. And there's a lot to love about this piece. Uh, I also like that it is Cox certified. That's always a plus. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this watch down in the comments below. Do you like the looks of it? Is COSC certification something that is important to you in a watch? Let me know about that as well. And do you think you would and could wear a 43 millimeter dress watch that is this large on your wrist? Let me know if that's something you could or would wear. Love to interact with you down in the comments below. But well, that's it for this video today. Thanks for tuning in to the Town Watch and this review. 
We'll see you next time.